Hey guys, Roger C. Scrapping. Um, aluminum car radiators. Um, real easy to tear down. I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of guys here lately. Uh, they'll they'll take them. They'll take their saws. All they'll cut down each side and call that good. Well, you're you're still leaving this good amount of uh, of aluminum on this plastic and I don't like to I don't like to waste anything um, so these things are real easy to take apart as I'm losing antifreeze everywhere these little tabs right here are what hold this in uh, all four sides um, what I do is I take basically a screwdriver or pry bar i prefer a pry bar but i can't find my pry bar at the moment um so basically what you're what you're gonna do is just get in here and pry the damn things back um it just it doesn't get any easier than that um now granted some of them can be stubborn but once you get into a rhythm um it's real easy to do um, now a lot of guys too will just go medieval they'll take a, a sledgehammer regular hammer they'll just pound that off and then try to get the plastic out that's okay but once you've once you've lost all this you've lost your prying ability so getting those tabs up becomes difficult so I just leave it on so I can use that plastic to my advantage and just work my way down the sides. This is where a pry bar becomes a lot more handy. And you've just got to get them up far enough for that plastic tab there to clear. there it is one side now you'll also want to do the ends a lot of times I find the ends easier to do than the sides okay now this other side is still crimped. We don't have to worry about that because we got three sides that are free. Get your screwdriver in there. Let me hang it off the tailgate here. And just pry it off get your gasket that's all there is to it now you still got that aluminum there you haven't wasted any aluminum and then inside these ends are these uh, cooling channels sometimes they're steel sometimes they're brass that is steel so 
I'll always check those. Um, every now and then you'll run across a brass one. Um, but that's, that's it on an aluminum radiator. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, double check your top and bottom. I've run into steel a couple of times, but not often. And get that other side off, and that's a, that's a clean aluminum radiator. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you scrapping.